So, hello, beautiful people. I'm home. I'm actually hanging out in my garage because, you know, um, don't smoke in the house. So, anyways, I'm hanging out with my cousin Ash over here. And she's telling me about their adventures getting Halloween costumes. My daughter, uh, and you have to excuse the bright lights because I'm in the garage. My daughter, as a last minute game time decision, decided she wanted to be, you know, I gotta wax my mustache. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, God. It's, it's rough. But anyways, my daughter at the last minute decided that she wanted to be Miss Frizzle from the Magical School Bus. Absolutely darling costume. She did a wonderful job. But my cousin was in Walmart and there was this girl going through the makeup and was mad because the only colors they had were red, white, and black, right? And blue. And she starts ranting and raving about how I can't use any of these. These aren't going to work for my costume. And, and Ash is like, well, what, are you, what are you going to Halloween as? You know, she's like losing her mind. She's like, you know, that skeleton thing, girl. Oh, well, I should, like skeleton <laughs> right, that skeleton like, thing. And she was like, what? what are you talking about? You know, that skeleton thing with all those different colors. And she, she, and so, uh, Ashley had found some Day of the Dead mugs, which I'm actually going to, I'm donating mine to the, at the ancestor altar, because they'll put Day of the Dead on anything, but they were absolutely beautiful, so we figured we, we'd get them, um, because of reverence for the holiday, um, you know, so tomorrow and the next day we're celebrating our dead, and it's Fet Gede for Voodoo Sauce, so she, um, she looked at the girl and she said, wait a minute, wait a minute, you trying to dress up like Day of the Dead? And she was like, yeah, and I've, I've seen this, you guys, I've seen this lots and lots and lots on uh, social media. People who are not um, uh, maybe a Latino origin, which is where, you know, it's celebrated um, down in Mexico, South America, and Latino countries, um, or Latin countries, um, and um, it's, it's a sacred holiday. And people have decided that they're going to go and they're going to paint their faces like Day of the Dead. I'd actually been in Michael's and was lecturing the young lady at Michael's about the stuff that they had. I'm like, you realize that's a sacred day. That's This is not a, you know, uh, a Hallmark holiday or, you know, like Halloween type of thing, you know. And um, she was like, she didn't know that either. I think Jezebel's trying to break into the garage. So my cousin Ashley looked at her and she said, no, 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 you, you, you can't do that shit. What's wrong with you? <laughs> We're still laughing about it because the girl was like, why? why? She said, because that's not like, you know, she told her, she said, look, it's rude. It's insulting. You, you know what? You might as well put some blackface on, stick a feather in your hat and call yourself an Indian if you're going to do some dumb shit like that. <laughs> oh, girl, I hollered. But seriously, you know. Um, I remember I had a disagreement with a friend of mine, lost a very good friend, around Hollywood, ha Hollywood, <laughs> Halloween, that's what the shit is, Hollywood, yeah. around Halloween last year because a friend of mine said some friends where she was going to a party and they posted their picture and it was a pimp and a prostitute and they were in blackface. And a friend of mine was like, well, you know, people just don't know. No, and I was no. just like, you don't know. I, I First of all, I really, really, really can't understand how anybody thinks blackface is wrong. In fact, I'm going to see President Obama's probably last rally tomorrow. And <clears throat> back when he was running for president on Halloween, another former friend sent her son to school in blackface because he wanted to be President Obama. Went a Trayvon Martin? Huh? The white boy this year went a Trayvon Martin? Yeah, there's actually been a white boy who has gone as Trayvon Martin. People need to understand that other people's religious celebrations and honoring of the dead and their cultures are not costumes, you know. I, and I don't know, maybe this video will be shown to people that don't know. You know, people like that that do actually paint their faces like that usually are attending some type of sacred celebration for the dead. They're not walking down, talking about trick-or-treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. Yeah, you know. No. So, you know, if you if you have friends who don't know that blackface and painting yourself like a day of the dead skull or go Yeah, or playing around and giving your friends voodoo doll souvenirs from New Orleans. Yeah. My boss tried to give me that shit too. 
I was like, uh, no. This was like 12, 15 years ago. Yeah, this shit's not a joke. It's, it, it, you know, people's culture is not a joke. Um, and I think that people need to start telling their friends that, you know. Because if I see you hanging out with somebody who's inappropriately dressed for Halloween walk around in a Native American headdress or, or any type of fuckery like that, and I, I find out about it, I, I'm going to say you are not a friend. You are not a friend. That person has no friends because they don't have the good kind of sense to tell them how to grow up, be sensitive, and act like an adult. But I really think that we need to stop um, when we're dressing up as something and really pay attention to what you're doing. You know, that's, my kid, she gets mad at me because I go as a witch every year. She's like, why you always want to go as who you are? And I'm like, because it's, you know, who I am. Um, and it's the one time of the year I can walk around this big-ass pointy hat and I, nobody will stare at me. Um, but, you know, she went as Mrs. Frizzle this year. She was Catwoman one year. She was a, uh, uh, what was that? Um, Trickster Jane from Homestuck, which is a web uh, cartoon. You know, stop dressing your kids in insensitive shit, okay? And stop dressing up in other people's cultures. And seriously, um, this is my public service. So take this link, and anytime one of your dumbass friends has a post like that, put this link on their page. Culture is not a costume. Good night, y'all. Bless us, Salon.